Cars on the Road raises a bunch of questions regarding the Pixar theory, a theory that combines all Pixar films into one timeline with cars being set before the events of Wall-E. In Cars on the Road, we are shown that car doors can be open, and no, all buildings are not designed specifically for cars. There's a scene that shows McQueen struggling to turn in a hallway. If this world was specifically designed for cars, I'm pretty sure they had that figured out. And then now you may be thinking, what about the dino cars? Well, I think that the dino cars are fake. All right, all right, let me explain. Let's go all the way back to before cars. A popular theory is that the humans were killed off by cars, but I don't think so. In Wally, -E, once the humans left Earth, robots were left to clean up the planet. During that entire process, cars started waking up. I like to think that they use the same energies toys use in Toy Story. This energy, simply being radiated by human emotions, can give things life or power. As seen in Monsters, Inc., it's used as a power source. I think cars use both life and power to run. The existence of delivery drones is hinted by Mater and Cars on the Road, meaning robots do exist, yes. We already got glimpses of AI by Hamilton in Cars 3, and it's shown that cars do have an interior. In Cars 2, one's eye is on the headlights, and you can see inside one of the cars, there's steering wheels. Take a look at the Radiator Springs 500 short, there's no organs in sight, so I don't think they have organs. So the planet is clean, partially, and the robots rest. The cars wake up, carrying over their previous owner's traits, and having carified versions of their memories. Once they're up, they clean up the roads, they restore buildings, and resume life in this new carified world. To prevent any future chaos, the cars decide to remake history in the lens of vehicles, making dino cars. I mean, the future society would collapse if it were found that they are not their original selves, leading to the events of Doc's history and cars. Most cars simply reuse the old buildings, and that also explains why there's sidewalk. With some buildings designed specifically for cars, like Radiator Springs, the Rusty's Racing Center, Thomasville Speedway, etc. But the cars can go so long without human energy that a few decades or a hundred years later after on the road, they start shutting down. So no, I don't think the cars killed us off, I don't think they have organs, and are instead brought to life like the toys in Toy Story. Of course, still being corporal, using energy fuels to stay up and about. It's shown in cars that they don't die without fuel because of axle rod. It's just something they require as cars to move around. I think it's not until every functioning thing of a car fails that a car truly dies. Doc was a mechanical doctor, yes, but I think he chose to move on. And over the years, let himself actually age. Smokey and the rest of the gang fixing themselves up regularly in Smokey's garage. When Lightning McQueen arrived, he decided he will stay, guiding McQueen into the world of racing with every technique he knew. He held on and stayed until he knew Lightning was okay. It's also why Mater survived all of his careers. He fixed himself up due to his business in towing and salvage, knowing parts right off the bat. I think he's also okay being rusty since he thinks it fits his line of work, maybe even a badge he wears knowing how much jobs he worked. So in universe, I think they choose when to go. But still even then, their magic lives on in the form of incorporeal ghosts shown in the Radiator Springs 500 and On The Road series. I think by now, during the events of Cars On The Road, the cars already know their origins, or at least some of it. I mean, there are manufacturers in the universe, so cars are being built every day, more advanced, and once it's fully built, it wakes up. So that is my explanation as to how cars and cars on the road fit into the Pixar theory. If you have any counter theories or you want to discuss more about my own theory, you can talk in the comments below. Or if you want to discuss in a more civil way, you can join our Discord server, discord.gg slash titans. We have cars chats, we have cars rolls, we have funny messages so if you want to join use the link on screen now make sure to follow me on other platforms too i got twitter i got instagram i got facebook i got tiktok so yeah you can follow me there and if you want to support me on here you can subscribe you can like and you can turn on the bell that way you never miss a video so until next time guys stay tuned that was my theory all right i'm gonna go rest okay bye everyone